Today I'm going to show you a few different ways to thread your needle and get started on cross stitching. Uh, the most common way is to separate out two or three strands of floss. So I have two strands here that I've separated. Make sure the end of it is really lined up. Some people like to lick the end of the thread to help it stay together as you thread the needle, but I typically try to avoid that unless I just can't get it in any other way. So I like to get just the tip of the thread in my fingers, line it up with the eye of the needle, and just push it through. So you'll want a couple inches sticking out here, and then come through, start your first stitch. Be careful not to go too far and pull it all the way through. I'm going to look at the back just to make sure I don't pull too far. When you have about half an inch or a little less, Go back in to start your next stitch, keeping an eye on the back, and then make sure you loop over that little tail you had. Pull it tight. So now that's pretty secure. The more times you loop over that, it'll just get more and more secure. So I generally look at the back only long enough to get that tail tacked down. Once it's not going anywhere, you can just look at the front. Another way you can start is just to take one strand that's twice as long, match up the ends just like the first time, Let's grab your needle, and the same way, line it up with the eye and just push it through. Again, just pull it a couple of inches, you don't need a huge tail, but now since you've folded this in half, the other end has a loop on it. So what you'll do this time to start your thread, go in, don't pull it all the way through like the last time, leave some extra. And then as you're looking at the back here, make sure you go through that loop. And then when you pull it tight, it makes a little slip knot on the back. So now you don't have to do any of that tacking down from the first method. It's already done and you can just start stitching immediately. This is the way I prefer to start my threads. Unless I have to use an odd number of strands, then you can't do it this way. But any even number, you can just fold in half and that's the fastest way to get going. And it makes the back nice and clean too because you don't have half of the number of tack down threads. The third way is good for beginners. Again, you'll start with one long strand, fold it in half, get the ends as lined up as you can, right in your fingertips, grab the needle, push it through, but this time, pull your needle all the way down making sure to keep this nice and untangled and actually grab your thread through so I've just made a slip knot on the needle and the other end has the loose ends so with this way you'll have to tack down the thread like the first way but you never have to worry about your needle falling off of the thread. I'll pull that a little bit longer just so there's enough to catch. All right. Do that a few more times to make sure it's tacked down. And 
And once that's good and tied down, you can stitch as normal. But like I said, this needle can't fall off. This was the way I started stitching when I was a kid, so that you can just leave this project when you're done, come back to it, pick it up. You don't have to worry about losing the needle. Um, when you're done with the thread, you do have to cut this knot to get the needle off. But this is a nice option for beginners if you find that the needle keeps slipping off your thread and you have to re-thread it all the time. This might be a good option for you.